just saw was the color picker chooser aspect for the new system settings in Android 12. And I've been using Android 12 on my Redmi Note 10 Pro for about a day, day and a half. I wanna show you guys some of the top level features, and then I wanna talk a little bit about just kind of my thoughts in regards to Android 12, because some of the things are really good, but some of the things are really, really bad. Let's jump in into the features. The first thing we gotta talk about is the new theming engine that uses your background as a palette for your colors on your entire system. Now, Google seemingly has chosen to stick with more pastel, more muted colors. You're not gonna have any bright pinks, bright purples. I tried a variety of different backgrounds with different color palettes and all of the colors I had were pretty muted and flat and right now on this beta there's no way to change those colors chosen. Now you might not care about widgets but Google wants you to care about widgets. Ever since widgets came to the iPhone Google has been using widgets as a key selling point in this overhauled design aesthetic of the Pixel devices. And Google has been showing off that all of their home screen widgets keep this same material you design aesthetic. Now, unfortunately, what that has given us is a very, very beautiful, elegant, and just aesthetically pleasing home screen if your home screen only uses first party Google widgets. On the other hand, something like Spotify, which is not a first hand or first party accessory, their widget, although it doesn't look bad, it certainly doesn't follow the same design aesthetic that Google has. And I think that this is gonna be something that plagues Android for a long time. As developers update their widgets and push their widgets to consumers, we're gonna have these fragmented home screens just in regards to the overall appearance. Last up on this was notifications and quick settings. Now this has been something that Google has overhauled and it's something that looks drastically different. Now for all of your quick settings, they're gonna have these big bold tiles. There's gonna be a lot of space. It's all very flat, no shadows, no transparency. I personally really like it. And of course, just like always, we have the ability to rearrange and reprioritize the live tiles that we want to use more often. I had seen somewhere else that you had to double tap to toggle Wi-Fi on and off. In my experience, there was none of that. And notifications, although they look different, they don't really behave any different. Now, as you guys can see, a lot of the features and a lot of the aspects of Android 12 come in the visual overhaul and the material you design. And I like it. I think it looks really good. It's bold, it's beautiful, but there's a huge catch. And that is in Android, there is no unified design language among apps. An app in Spotify is going to look totally different, or the app Spotify is gonna to look totally different than Google Keep. Facebook is going to look completely different from a uh, crypto trading application. And I'm not talking about the actual app interface, I'm talking about the design aesthetic and the way things just kind of appear on screen. And with what Google has done, in redesigning kind of their entire approach to the way they want the system to look and feel, it means that when you go from a Google app or a Google widget to a third party app, the changeover is super jarring. And while iOS isn't always better and it's not the gold standard, it's something that as an Android fan, it is so shocking to see this stock Android look in some aspects of it, the material you design aspects in some of it, and then design language in apps that's like three years old. It makes the whole thing 
look really fragmented, feel really fragmented. I don't know if I'm gonna have a side column. I don't know if I'm gonna have a top call, uh, a top uh, level to scroll back and forth on. And it just makes the experience feel extremely unintuitive, to be honest. It makes me appreciate what Windows Phone did 10 years ago. The way Microsoft gave app developers kind of like the bare bones outline for applications and then like developers could then change specific aspects in it. But all of your third party apps on Windows Phone felt like it was Windows Phone. And that's something that is completely missing in this new version of Android. This fragmentation in user experience and design language is something that isn't a deal breaker, but it's not something that I specifically like. And it's something that just kind of shows how far Android needs to come for it to get even close to the same aesthetic and kind of user interface that we have on iOS or even on Android skins. Because I think that a lot of Android skins that don't adopt this material U are going to look more consistent with the widgets and the other third-party applications that we have on the market today. Now, if you guys think I'm wrong, let me know on Twitter. It's the best place to get a hold of me. If you guys like puppies, her name is Bu, which is Vietnamese for butter. And she's like two months old. And she's just cool to chill here. Okay. Like the video for puppies, subscribe for more puppies, and until the next one, peace.